Well, it's Sunday, March the 29th, and it feels like the Ice Age has come. It is freezing out. Sleet, winds, gales, freezing air, you name it. It's cold. I'm surprised I haven't seen a mammoth go by. Well, it's lockdown time still, and we're all stuck in our houses, locked up for whatever reason it is that's really happening. Maybe there is a virus. I don't know. Or maybe they've released a virus. Only two things could have done a virus. Either nature fighting back against us horrible humans who have been misusing nature and this planet for a long, long time. Or it is a biochemical weapon that's been released. Either way, well, it's not good for humanity. Though, if it is nature that's released it, I'm on her side and, you know, willing to sacrifice myself in the name of nature. But if it's bio, a bioweapon made by humans, then I, I really feel like I want to fight back. But then I've always been one of those that thought that there's something else more going on. Which I know sounds paranoid, a bit of a conspiracy theory. But I just feel like it's really weird. How have they managed to shut the whole world down? How or who has been able to control it so that everybody's stuck in their houses? And I just feel there's something more going on than just a flu virus. Some of you might say, oh, I watch too much David Icke or too much Leak Project. But they have a point. How did we let this happen? Is it really to protect us humans or is there some major change happening? One of my concerns and fears that have been going on for many, many years, and I don't like using the word fear because I feel that is what is feeding whatever it is that's ruling this planet. Because I'm one of those that really, I suppose it comes from a Gnostic type of uh, reading that we were made by a demiurge, or we're here to feed some dark forces, and that it likes our negative energy. Because let's face it, this planet doesn't seem to live in a logical situation. We seem to, as Gurdjieff says, live in a lunatic asylum. We don't treat each other well, we don't live properly in a much more logical way where we would all live in harmony, <clears throat> which all comes down to uh, conscience, really, and using our conscience. But sadly, not many people listen to their conscience, and I don't know how to talk to people about this. When I do, I see people just shut down. They don't want to have to face their conscience. They don't want to have to listen to that little voice that's in their head telling them what, what's the difference between right and wrong. So this is, for me, an awkward time because I feel, well, if, if people had listened to their conscience, then they would be more understanding of how people are and how animals are and how the rest of the planet works. And we would work in harmony and live in harmony with the planet. But instead, most people don't listen to their conscience and live for themselves. So what I'm sorry I'm trying to get at here is that in this time of lockdown, this is a time to look in on ourselves, to find that conscience, to listen to it. And maybe once we've contacted us, we can develop ourselves into a better type of person, a person that does live harmoniously with everything around it. Though it is difficult when nobody else is living like that, when other people are not using their conscience. Which is why there's all these different spiritual teachings, where there's theosophy, the Gurdjieff work, the Steiner work, and more. You know, it's not the only ones, there's many around the world that are trying to teach us to look at ourselves and look inwards maybe shut down that little inner dialogue that is ego that tries to distract you from finding your inner self and finding your conscience which again makes me wonder as to why this is worlds like this why do we not listen to our inner conscience why are we programmed to follow our egos and live for ourselves it's a very peculiar way of living. 
But I suppose what I'm, again, coming back to what I'm trying to say, which I'm not saying very well, is maybe this is our chance in this lockdown to work on ourselves, to not feed the ego, not feed negative energies which are going out to wherever they are going, but instead try and find that positivity, find that love and that light that's part of our conscience that will then bring us up to our better developed selves, which will hopefully lead to our higher selves. But it, it's how to get that message across to people, which is why I suppose people like Jesus and such like used to say, this is for those that wish to hear. Because not everybody does want to hear. As Gurdjieff says, people like they're suffering too much and their suffering is created by their egos. I just don't know how to help wake people up. But it is time to wake up. And through this lockdown, we could use that time to develop ourselves. As many different channels are saying. Like, I look at all the movies and the TV shows, and they're always dystopian. There's never any ones of people living in harmonious communities, living together, being one with each other. And if there is, and it's kind of giving it a creepy look of looking at it like some kind of cult and something's always going wrong and people are abusing each other behind the doors or something. But surely it can work if we had the right understanding of how to live together. But then I do wonder if there are all these films of this dystopian dark outlook, all the dramas that people watch on TV are all about, you know, negative energy, negative emotions, nobody getting along. It's like they're, they're being programmed by the programmes on our TV to not like each other, to not work together, to think that we all have to live in this disharmonious, uh, horrible world of where no one can trust each other. There's not enough nice programmes where people live together. Why do we want these kind of dramas? It's strange, isn't it? When I think deep down, those that are in touch with their conscience, well, I know those that are in touch with their conscience don't want to live like that. They want to live in a harmonious world where we all get along and we all uh, live together harmoniously, trusting each other, helping each other, wanting to work with each other. And that's for people that are awake. So if you want to feel like that, if you want to stop not trust, trusting people, not getting along with people, then you need to look at your conscience. It's all to do with conscience. <laughs>